This important heart update comes from Missouri Baptist, a five-star rated heart hospital for eight years running. When a patient is experiencing chest pain, of course the first thing they should do is dial 911. When the ambulance crew arrives at the scene, the first thing the ambulance crew is going to do is obtain a 12-lead EKG. At Missouri Baptist, we have very close communication between our emergency room physicians and the EMS uh, personnel that work in the field. Uh, we're lucky to have some people in the emergency room that work very closely with EMS. Uh, they do a lot of education, particularly EKG readings, where we've been able to help train the emergency medical personnel. In the past, heart attacks were treated in a much slower fashion. We really redesigned the system to make it much more streamlined, particularly for someone who calls 911. Field activation of the cardiac cath lab time has markedly reduced our door to balloon time and over the past year we've been able to reduce door to balloon time with field activation down to less than 40 minutes in the great majority of cases. We have a STEMI coming in. Yes, I'd confirm that as a STEMI. Go ahead and activate well, the cath lab. Door to balloon time is the concept of the time elapsed from when the patient first presents to our emergency room door to the time that it takes uh, when the balloon catheter crosses the total occlusion and opens up the clogged artery in the cath lab. There are definitely patients that still uh, have denial about their symptoms and uh, don't think they're actually having a heart attack and delay getting in and getting medical attention. Uh, those patients definitely tend to not do as well as the patients that come in promptly and get to the cath lab. The benefits to patients of this type of system is that we get the artery open faster. The sooner we get the artery open, we can actually turn the heart attack off. That saves heart muscle. Saving heart muscle saves patients' lives.